Now turn to section 3. Section 3. You will hear a discussion between two work colleagues and their manager about the restructuring of their company. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 25. Come in, both of you. I believe you wanted to talk to me about something, is that right? Yes. Basically, all the staff are concerned about what the restructuring of the company is going to mean for them. None more so than myself and Nam, as we are the newest members. Oh, as I said to all staff at the meeting last week, there's no cause for concern. There will be no compulsory redundancies. All redundancies will be on a voluntary basis. Yes, we, we understand that. But to tell the truth, we just want a little reassurance that our jobs are safe. Look, Anne and Penny, the company isn't going to be short-sighted and let its bright young minds go. Besides, we've already met our target for the number of voluntary redundancies we want to secure. In fact, there's a waiting list. You know as well as I do that the age profile of staff at this company needs to come down. A lot of our employees are close to retirement age and are just going through the motions until they can take their pensions. That's why we decided on this redundancy initiative. We want to encourage those that would be happy to leave to do so and employ younger, more motivated staff. I guess that makes us feel a little better... But we're also worried about the upcoming salary review. What will it mean for us? Given the fact that the company's motivation for this restructuring initiative is not to cut costs, one again, you needn't be worried that there will be a negative effect on your salaries. We are running a very profitable business and we will reward our top performers in the upcoming review. Both of you fall into that category so you can expect a healthy bonus and salary increase. Simple as that. That's good to know. Another thing on our minds was the fact that, with all these voluntary redundancies happening in the next few months, there will be a lot of positions opening up higher in the company. What we were wondering is, will the recruitment drive be an internal or an external one? Obviously, we will recruit internally where possible. That has always been company policy. So, if you're asking me will there be opportunities to gain a promotion in the near future, then the answer is very definitely yes. The type of candidate we would be looking for has a proven track record and is performance-driven. How can we improve our chances of getting promoted, then, when the opportunity arises? Well, in the meantime, be prepared to take on additional responsibilities – especially those relating to the management of other members of staff. Obviously, the higher up you go in the company, the more involved you'll be in managing people. What the management team is looking for, then, is proof that you can work effectively with and manage other members of staff. Before you hear the rest of the discussion, you have some time to look at questions 26 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 26 to 30. One more thing. Go on. This project you've given us to manage, is it a test of our abilities? I guess you could say it is a test of sorts, but look at it more as a chance for you to prove yourselves. Actually, now that I have you both here in private, can we talk about that a bit? Of course. OK. Penny. Let's start with you. Has the timescale been agreed yet? Yes. 
You said we have a total of eight weeks to bring the product to launch. So we've decided to allocate three weeks at the beginning to product research and prototype testing. Very good. Then after that, we are going to spend a further three weeks formulating our marketing strategy and doing some research and testing on a sample of the target market itself to get some feedback. And presumably the last two weeks will be devoted to the launch? Exactly. Now, let's talk estimated costs. Well, you've given us a total budget of £100,000. Of that, we're allocating 50% to product development and testing, a further 25% to marketing, and £25,000 will be spent on the launch. Penny, give me a breakdown of the launch costs, would you? Sure. £10,000 will be spent on hiring and decorating the venue, £10,000 will be spent on promotional work, and the remaining money will be used to pay for catering and administrative costs. Uh, I'm very happy with that, to be honest. As I said, you guys should stop worrying. You're doing a fantastic job, so keep it up. That's the end of Section 3. You have half a minute to check your answers.